adding uh, addresses and dollar amounts oh. that were uh, missed since April. So they have the E and O, which corrects the grand list. Most of them are address changes and uh, some valuations that change up and down, but the overall net is pretty zero, almost almost at net zero by the time you add and delete all the different changes. So okay. anyway, that's the one add to the agenda. Okay. Can I see that? Oh, yes. Okay, so no public comment, I take it. Um, we need a second LCPC town rep. We're overpopulated now. <laughs> um, we advertised twice in Front Porch Forum yep. and had one response from Richard Pearson, who's our TAC member now. Yep. And he's also on the Town Planning Commission and he'd like to join Greg Paws. Oh, great. Okay. So do we need to make a motion to approve him? Is that how yep. that works? Yeah, you'd have to have a motion to approve him and then I'd, we'd have paperwork to sign at some point to make it official. Okay. Want to make a motion? So moved. Matthew? Second. <laughs> you can second it. <laughs> um, so all those in favor? Very little. Say <coughs> aye. 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 Any <laughs> Are you getting all that? Can you hear him good? Yep. Okay. Got it. He can never get the Zoom link to work. Did you hear? Yeah. I'm trying to use an iPad and It doesn't end out. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so Ster Sterling View Zofar loan proceeds. So in uh, last year, we had this question come up and apparently the money never moved, which was the proceeds from the Harvey loan. So Jennifer wrote a memo explaining it and we're just looking for clarification on the $40,000 and the split. You decide to put 80% approximately into highway reserve yep. and 20% into economic development. So if you want to shift those or do it, you have a do-over chance tonight. Whatever you decide, we'll apply it to the close out of the checking or Close out of the Harvey checkbook, which lets us get a three thousand dollar proceed on top of the fourth forty thousand, and then there's one more proceed, which is Marilyn Zofar's loan payment of twelve thousand when she sells her house. Okay. So we apply that same percentage to each of the transactions. Because we talked about putting that in the block top. Yep. So mm -hmm. there was eighty percent going to Highway Capital Reserve. Yep. And twenty percent going to Economic Development. So if you want to do eighty twenty, then that would be your motion tonight, for example, which is consistent with last year's vote. Right. It was eighty one nineteen or something, but for simplicity, I'm just round it, round it to eighty twenty. Um, economic development stuff was a big point of last night's planning commission meeting. Okay. Um, Brian and a bunch of people are talking about what Brian Jones and Eric Williams are all talking about how to invigorate North Height Park, and part of that money, whether it's a grant match or just some small project, would come from economic development reserve. There's really no budget line for economic development. It's all in the reserve fund. In the if, general if, reserve? Yeah, no, it's a specific. Or specific yeah, It's reserve. a specific okay. economic development reserve fund. Oh, okay. Okay. And there's a specific. That 80% will stay in the yeah. highway reserve. If you vote 80 20, we'll do the split. Yes. The same as last year. Yeah. So I'll make a motion to go the 80 20 like we did last year. 80% of that will stay in the highway for black topping. Well, it's all capital. Yeah, and, and anything I, I know we talked about yeah. as much black top as we could. Oh yeah. With that money. Yep. Okay. Do we have a second? Thank you. Thank you. All those in favor? Say aye. 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 Okay, abstained. No, oh, it's just the three of us. It's strange only having the three of us. Okay. Clerk of the Works discussion. <laughs> well, <laughs> Ron's been twisting my arm about this a little bit. And, uh, looking at the... the um, Wait a minute. Matt, can you hear him? Turn one of those mics around. Yeah. He, yeah his mic was... 
We're gonna fix that for you, Matt. Yeah, that one on the end. Yeah, just turn it towards us here about three feet away. Yeah. Plus or minus? Yeah. Yeah. Did I tell you Brian was on his way? He just Oh no, okay. good. Okay. I don't know when. He just said coming. Okay. So um, Ron and I have been talking about the improvements at um, at the town hall, um, you know, various things about air exchanges, heat recovery, um, you know, how it's being heated, etc. Some of this, uh, that other email from Greg about the ramp and ADA, the, the ADA stuff. Could be combined. Could be combined, yeah. So, you know, um, because if you start moving too many things, you definitely have to bring it, bring up the ADA. It'll, it'll catch you blindsided every time. <laughs> um, and, you know, I've been doing inspections up until this last year for the last six years. I sort of gave it up because the market's been so soft. I've been doing residential and commercial, but you know, as you, there's nothing on the market. And so I went back to construction, which I don't want to be doing, but I need a paycheck. <laughs> and um, I did a project like this for the Moyle Housing Partnership last year, getting two of those uh, net zero trailers installed over in Hardwick. You know, from that one was from bare ground to literally the fire marshal there for the last inspection, seven o'clock the day the people were moving in, you know, just because that's how those things go. Yeah. And, uh, and those people's vouchers were running out at midnight that same night. Um, this seems a lot simpler because you're, you know, you're dealing with one, likely one contractor. Uh, the suggestions from uh, from Greg Paws were local people who do HVAC, um, county plumbing, Borns, or um, Fred's. Fred's. But you also have the third one, a fourth one. There would be um, th those guys who used to be in town here. Um, why am I re forgetting their name? Perfect Town. Oh, Perfect Town. Yeah, Perfect oh, Town Perfect does Town. it too. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, sure. It's just, yep. you know, because everybody's, I don't know if they're as busy as they have been. I know I was able to get an electrician fairly quick on a kitchen remodel recently. You know, it only took three weeks instead of 12. So, um, what, what do you think the timeline on this is, Ron? I think it's just a the the phase that we're at is just dis, getting the select board's um, commitment to pushing it forward. So last week or week and a half ago, Brian, I told Brian that Amy Olson was asking about what's going on with the HVAC. Mark French at the Highway Garage says the same thing. Mm -hmm. And when I was talking to Brian, he said, "How do we get this thing to move faster?" Here you go, Brian. Here's your pile. Pile of goodies. Uh, so I said, well, one way to make it happen is to start putting the project together. And once we get the project together, we can advertise it, but then somebody has to be ready to run with the project and oversee it and make sure that issues are dealt with properly mm -hmm. and that there's no redoing everything at the end because we forgot to call the fire inspector, you know, those kind of things. And really it's a hands-on position, temporary basis. And I, and I wanted to at least outline that for the select board to see if you all were into that concept of, of actually hiring a clerk of the works person that would manage, the, it's really three projects in one between the three town buildings. Right. And we don't have a uh, bid contract yet, but we do have an engineering report on the three buildings as a guide to what should happen from an engineering perspective. But we don't have the construction bid documents and things like that. Um, which once they're issued and once the contract's awarded, somebody's got to follow those contract plans. So, and like, like I said, it's a lot of hands-on stuff. The, the clerk of the works person that would manage, as well as the work is eligible under ARPA. So the person that's doing the clerk of the works would basically have a timesheet and we, yeah, mm -hmm. we'd submit it through the ARPA, ARPA process. 
the time frame is just as soon as possible and we know there's going to be delays there'll be delays on the bid we might make it one we might get three we might get none we have we should try to get under the rules to, you know three quotes to look at on something like this because yeah. it'd probably be you know 150,000 100,000 maybe depending on that how much work we don't know the library is probably in better shape and the town office is in better shape, the garage is going to need a lot of work yeah. to get anything that's sub workable, I think, exactly. you know, just because there's so many holes. And I don't even know what that scope of work looks like in, in practice, whether it includes a whole new building in the end because you're p parts and pieces, but hopefully not. Hopefully it's right. just like insulation and ceiling and you get the best you can. You get good ventilation and dust goes down instead of into people's workplaces. So if that if that broad uh, outline works, then I think we probably want to um, consider how to get somebody like that on board. So either you're going to advertise for a clerk of the works, and then people submit and you interview. Um, you could hire a part-time employee, put them on the payroll, and have that special job for a year, maybe from beginning to end and just time and materials kind of expenses for mileage and hours, just like every other employee. The clerk of the works will probably have insurance costs added in and miscellaneous expenses. It depends on how they want to bill you, but we'd have to come up with that contract and have a good understanding of what the job duties are. In your packet, the job duties were outlined from a school project that I found. It yeah. just kind of gave you the, a bigger contract outline than probably we really need, but it gives you the concept of what the, what the role is for that person. A lot of reporting to the select board as phases get through and, and invoices get submitted. Exactly. So. And that person would actually probably help approve all the invoices. And yeah. Make oh, sure they'd have to sign off on them. Are, yep. are in line with what we expected. Yep. Historically, the way I've done this is to come up with a number that caps a cap number, <clears throat> you know, and then because it's usually intermittent, do it hourly, keep track of that. Yeah. But just you, you, you or whoever else I've worked for before, there's a cap, gotcha. you know, and it's tricky. Yeah. I mean, the last couple of came right to the edge, <laughs> you know, and it was like, yeah. and somewhat because of the way the things were manufactured caused me to have to be a carpenter instead of an inspector, sure. you know, taking out windows. They put the egress windows in the wrong holes. Yeah. Stuff like that always happens. <laughs> well, this is probably something we need to start moving on, right? To get prices and plans and... Uh, well, it's the only way it's going to get done. So that's why I was, you know, if you want to have somebody that can manage the project from beginning to end, do you want them to start at the bid? Or do you want to do the bid with the contractors first and then bring a clerk in to manage the work? Or do you want that? I'd like to see how much it would cost first. Yeah, we have no we have no idea what's going to cost. Oh, that's right. So, if you go out to bid and the project is you know five hundred thousand dollars, we don't have enough ARPA money for that. Right, exactly. I mean, we do, but it would take up everything else that we have on that twenty item list. Right. So. And this was one of the. And not, Most not important saying things on if it comes too high, there's nothing saying you can't do one at a time. I have to pull one off or... Right. Do the most important one first or... You know, I, I got a funny feeling. I'd like to know yeah. where we are with price. That's where I am. Well, so yeah. You, getting in price means you have to go out to bid, which includes yeah. drafting a yeah. bid that somebody can bid apples to apples on. I don't know if you would actually bid a project on the engineer report. I don't, I don't know if it's in that, full, maybe it's on that okay to bid off from. Some of that, but there were some, in that engineer's report, there were some Options. either ors going on, you know what I mean? So you, you know, which is okay to go to the HVAC contractor and say, give me, give me A, give me B. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, that's all right. But um, I personally wouldn't tell them you have somebody looking over their shoulder till after you got the bids because right. <laughs> they're going to charge you for that they, they, they know they're going to be you know yeah. i've been to that movie on both sides of it you know what i mean and um so it, it's almost better 
to come up with a scope of the work, you send it out yep. to to Ben. We have a short list already. Yeah. Yeah, there's, you got a short list, and and just to get to make sure you get three, add perfect temp. You know what I mean? And then you got four, <coughs> and then drop the bubble. Yeah. And, uh, so yeah. I mean, it's not. Scan. No, you just say, you know, we we got somebody we want you to stay in touch with. You know, in terms of. <coughs> Certain certain things need to be inspected at certain points before they're closed in, and you know, simple things like the mouse holes <laughs> that we talked about. Right, earlier. exactly. They're so much easier if they do it. <laughs> they if if they don't allow it to happen after they've installed everything, you know. Yeah, I think that we can do a phase step by step moving forward, but getting more information each time or changing the project or whatever. Yeah, well, that way too, exactly. if, yeah. if you guys have decided on the scope, I can be tighter on a budget, you know, a cap on a budget, you know what I mean? Because I know right now I, I couldn't even guess, you know what I mean? But yeah. if, if I know that this is going in one building and that's going in the other and, you know, you get a sense of the time they're going to spend so you know uh inspection points okay but. yeah so maybe that's what i could do is just have a work on that for the next meeting and have a sort of like a bid document with some time frame for returning the bids perfect late yeah. september at probably at the earliest Yep. We always have to take stuff out on the state bid registry that gets it us statewide, but then we can do some direct mailing to the short list. Sure. Okay. And then see what we get. And a lot of people prefer to depend on work in the spring or fall, not winter, but the global change, you know, it's, it's, it's warming right up most of the winter now. So exactly. if they have to work in 10 degree weather or 20 degree weather, they might want to work through the winter and we don't have to wait for spring, you know, that kind of thing. But we'll, I think, take it a step. So the next step will be looking at sort of the project. And then if the board approves it, we can let it out for bid. Yeah. Okay. okay. Sounds good. All right. Perfect. Sounds good. Yeah. All set with me? Yeah. Yes, thank yeah, you, and, sir. And I, I will recommend that you don't just talk to me about doing this either. You know what I mean? I mean, you should talk to, you know, put it out there as a general thing. Yeah. I don't know, other than engineering firms, I don't know people who do it, and they get, they tend to be pretty expensive. You know, I did one down in Stowe where I had to walk away from a commercial inspection because of extreme modification of trusses. They had put an HVA system in the second floor and cut out webs of eight trusses, and I handed the guy back his check, and I said, <laughs> I know what has to be done here, but you need you need an engineer. And he told me six months later, he said, it was 10 times my price. I mean, it's just the way it is. Exactly, you know? yeah. But, you know. It's, it's good to know you can walk away from it. I've done that on a job myself. Yeah. And when you know that uh, there's something being done and you don't want your name attached to it, it's yeah. good. Well, it wasn't even that, it's just he couldn't he, you can't just fix that. You you really do have to have an engineer, yeah. even though as a carpenter for 50 years, I know how to fix it. But it's a being a commercial building and he has to do his permit through the fire marshal's structural engineer. He has to have that tag. Yeah. And, you know, he did tell me that my guess was off by $600. <laughs> I said 3600 and it was, it was 3000 mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Anyway. Let me know. Great, and, thank you. You know, at some point, Ron, if you want to walk through some of those spaces, just yep. to be ahead of it, yep. maybe I can give you some advice. Well, I think it. before the bid goes out, we'll, we'll take you up on that and just look at what we're thinking. That's what I was thinking. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. Okay. And then before thank you. Thank you. Good luck on the today. Hey, yeah. thank you. <laughs> Chastity, you going to give it up? Yeah, I'll pass it up. You are? <laughs> we're on number five. Oh, good. Moving right along. I like that. And that's the deferred. You got a better pace than I do. And that's deferred because we're still, still oh. working on that. Oh, okay. Well, there two, you go. Deferred. Moving there's right two along. issues. There, see, you're doing even better. <laughs> well, there's two issues. I sent you the blended rate uh, notes, which is a brand new topic for us, apparently. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I want to go slow on that, first of all. We end up paying 
you know, cleaning it, um, if it goes in the way it's supposed to, like $34 an hour. The board said 25, but because it's a current employee, it's overtime, yeah. oh, we end right. up paying them overtime for that time. <clears throat> so I don't know what the board feels about that. But what that did you figure out to being based on her wages? Yeah. What was it? It's like, instead of the 25 that yeah. you all talked about, yeah. over to like 34. 34. So, and that's, that, that's 70,000 a year if you multiply out for a full-time job. Right. You know, and I don't know if we, I, I don't know, it just, it starts to get really high, yeah, I think, for exactly. cleaning some floors. We can't, and, we can't put it out there to see a simple contractor. We, we already did. Yeah, but yeah we did. <laughs> no, yeah, we did the employee thing and the kind of the small people. We could, we could ask <coughs> regular contractor people. We haven't, like, sent out a... A proposal for two hours a week at the town office, which is what we are thinking, whether they do it. I know um, we tried to get hooked up with the library has Home Maintenance Inc. or something. I don't even know what the, who the people are, but they do the library for you know hundreds of dollars. Time and a half. Yeah. So that's. Anyway, I was going to work not, through. Not for me. I wanted to work through the blended rate thing, yep. and then we have a whole a letter of hire type. Matt, what do you think? Thing. So that's on hold. Matt, did we lose him? Can you hear me now? Yes. Work on the letter and try to do some we'll outreach. Get her going, and then tell her. Just tell her that we're going to look for somebody else or something, or put some more bids out there, and she can at least start cleaning, you know, for a month or so. At one hour. Well, no. If, can she get it at that? She can't seem do like, it one hour. It seemed like enough time. Is no, it? It's, we were we were doing about a a really not full job at like a one hour. <laughs> There was things being missed when the person was doing it one She's, hour. She said yeah. it was going to take her two hours. Yeah. Yep. So let's go with an hour and a half to begin with and do, you know, just tell her what's happening. What do you think, Matt? I can't hear him. I, 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 I'm fine Oh, hello. All I can hear is a dog. We got a yep. dog barking. Yeah, we got door. a dog barking behind us here. You got at least two deaf people here too. <laughs> yeah, correct. Yeah. It was twenty-five times two. But. Yes. We can try that for a while and see if she wants to go for that. And then um, overall, we can just check contractors to see if they're even available. They might not even want a two hour deal. Okay. So we're gonna move on? Yep. B trans? Structure grant, 70 percent. Uh, it should be 28,800, and uh, watershed consultant scope, which is 41,141, and we need to vote on it. Yes, second part of most projects. One is the money part, and one is the contract for the work. And this is the watershed contract to complete the design and get ready for uh, bidding and grants. So there's a whole another round of bidding and grants after this. Uh, to fund the construction. This is just to get the design ready to go or shovel ready, which is a term we've heard before. Um, and money's uh, coming from the stormwater reserve and engineering um, 
money that we have each year. It's, it matches uh, the 12,300 match. A motion? This is for the for the one down. Ten Ben's Ten. beer culvert. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. That's um, the one we have a added. We're gonna have a supplemental project to deal with the road itself. Yes. Which would be <laughs> separate from that class four road. Nope. No, no, down by my Ten Ben's beer. Down by my beer. Down by oh, down East Main Street. Yeah, down by down. 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 Just, down. Just look into it. No, this is we had it. We last meeting we had a grant awarded for 28,800. Okay, okay. And yeah. this is the work work part to get the design done to for replacement culvert. But it's got to be started. It's already, it's yeah, it's already, it has this preliminary design done. We just need to get final design and bid documents together. <laughs> I remember a piece of the pot. Watershed Con Consulting is doing the design. And they did the preliminary design and, and helped us get the um, the state grant. And then we'll bid it out to any contractor that's available. Probably shut the road down to make it easy. And then there's a supplemental project on the road because the road's a little bit sunken and there's some stormwater from VTrans that heads to the road, some stormwater from Lamoille Chevy that heads that way and stormwater that heads from MSI property. Uh, resource and 10 bends that all heads towards this intersection with the, with the brook. So we're gonna expand it a little bit, but um, that. Yeah, that's our local. Yeah, that's the local match that Yeah, mix of the highway budget, and there's a sub, there's a separate line item for engineering, which has five thousand in it, and then there's the uh, highway and stormwater reserve funds, which we have available. So, so does anybody want to make a motion to accept it? I will make a motion that we move on. Continuing this process with what's there. You can. As written. As written. There we go. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Second. Oh. Who's that again? No, I think you can hear. It's just super quiet. Do you want to second that, Matt, or? No, I hear I hear you. The, the thirteen thousand plus or minus is is the match cash match we have. We don't have a chance to do a force account match, with, which we do sometimes on construction with highway crew. So this has to be a cash match from reserves or the town budget. And there's two lines in the highway budget where we get our match from. One is the small projects line, and one is the engineering line and those have enough money to cover it. But if you wanted to take money from reserve, then we also have highway reserve and stormwater reserve you can take match money from. So when we get to doing the payment, we'll talk about where the money's coming from. But we have those four uh, annual pots of money, if you will, for grant match to draw from. Yeah, this was this was one of four culverts that we programmed probably about, I think 2015, the study was done. This is one of them that moved forward. There's uh, one on Garfield Road near the Beaver Lake culvert. Uh, Brook Road and Centerville Road are, are in a FEMA grant program. And Wickham Island and the Green River uh, crossings are also under a FEMA grant program. So this is one of the uh, sort of minor minor bridges that uh, should be a pretty quick project uh, that was left for an upgrade. We don't have a we don't have a big list of other pending items that aren't currently in some kind of grant program.
Yeah, no, we can, we can, we had the, a, it's a, called an AOP improvement project with the state of Vermont uh, putting it as a, as a fish passage, which seems strange because you're headed right towards Route 15, but uh, the state biologist said it happens. So from the Lamoille River, Seneville Brook, and then up behind uh, Hope Groves. I don't know where the headwater is, but it's probably up above Help Grove somewhere. But yeah, I've, we have reports on it and we have a, you know, this is just a longer, one of the longer projects that just takes time because it wasn't, it wasn't a priority like a damage site. It was a priority on the, our list of projects that's coming through its normal, you know, preliminary design, this is final design, and then you'll have another chance of uh, putting it through construction. So I don't, I don't, I don't, we don't have, and, and I, we don't have what you're maybe looking for, which is what rank number this is in town. We just have ongoing projects and we do the projects as money comes available. And the, and the overall list isn't, yeah, the overall list isn't huge. So it's, it's sort of like when money. Yeah, it's it's a no no it's a good it's a good point. So basically, there's grant money for the con, concept, concept plans and looking at all your structures and then pulling projects out of that as a, as a grant project, which we did back in 2015. And then there's this design phase, which again the state of Vermont is providing 70% money to bring it to final design and construction bids. And then there's another grant phase for construction. So as you go through each of those steps, you, you sort of wait for the availability of funding and make your case that it's you know, ready to move to the next step. So we can't get to construction without this final design money. <clears throat> and we, the other projects are on a separate track where they're, they're, they're doing their own schedule. So you don't know what's gonna be put in there yet? Oh yeah, we have a, we have a the preliminary design, which was done last year, was a 30% design. Is that a box cover? Oh yeah, 101 inches wide by six feet tall, something like that. Yeah, with the, with the AOP, you need a wide bottom with gravel in it. Oh, yeah. That's the new design. So that's what, that was picked for this site. So this is like phase two of a long-term project map. I guess that's the best way to look at it. And there's no other... It's new, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, you have a good, no, you have a good point. But, you know, I do give out the, uh, the capital uh, projects list, which is on your select board page. And that sort of summarizes the current grants. But what we don't do is look at a priority list of the 100 projects in Hyde Park and try to put a number on them. We've never done that. We don't do it for road paving either. It's always like when the money comes available, we move forward with the project. So we could do better in overall and try to get priority ranking and then put our efforts into number one. And then when that's done, number two, but we don't, we haven't done that. We just know that this is one of those projects that's on our list to do and the money's available because VTrans approved a grant. So and then it sits on the sh shelf. reserve does he think it's coming out of our budget yeah so that what, what happens with this particular grant is the board has um, two choices you can either run the whole project through the reserve fund so the grant money and all the expenses come out of the reserve fund and doesn't touch the highway or you can keep it in the highway fund and have the match money come out of the and the expenses out of that what we're trying to do lately, because some of this stuff is not budgeted, is run those pr special projects that are grant funded through the reserve fund so that your match and all the grant money are operating <coughs> outside of the highway annual operating budget. And it sort of keeps it separate. And we, and we already borrowed money for fuel, right? Oh, in, yeah. 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 So we can't forget that. Yeah, that was from 
from uh, the FEMA money that we got. Yeah. So. And then you will, like I said before, when, when we get to the next, when this is done, then we'll have to decide when to pull the trigger on the construction, which will be partly determined by the grant money then. Yeah, we'll still have to, uh, yep, you'll apply for it and then you'll vote to accept it or not accept it, move it forward. We voted last week to accept this grant and now we're voting to start to spend the money. Chassis has got a thing on the table already. Waiting for a second. Just needs a second. Yeah. Right? Oh, I was like, what? Yeah, I just need a second. <laughs> <laughs> Have you forgot? Yes. Are you willing to second it? Why don't you second it? You said you did second it? No, he said, why don't you second it? Yeah. <laughs> I'll second it. <laughs> Thank you, Roland. Okay. Any more discussion? If all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstaining? The ayes have. I didn't hear Matt say aye. I did aye. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I was getting out there on the limb, but. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's done. Oh, Lord, oh, God. Oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. We got to ask questions, that's all. So we got the draft policy on the driveway uh, aprons for uh, Bailey's and the uh, driveway and the apron quote was uh, 1560 um, and we deferred it and uh, everybody should have gotten their packet the uh, uh, a draft type of thing of uh, a policy. I don't know if everybody got a chance to read it. Yeah, when, yeah, Mark Mark met with her and then he drew up a sketch of what she wanted. Brickett asked for paving and Mark's sketch showed from the edge of the travel lane into the driveway 12 feet as pavement, which is right about the edge of the right of way because the Eden Street travel lane are, are 12 footers plus 12 feet is 24, which gets you to the edge of the 25 right of way edge so with all the works in the right of way um it's a huge, it's a huge oh yes 36 at the uh travel lane and it's 19 feet um at the end you know over a 12 foot distance and i did just get a confirmation from brown's paving up in troy that they'll bid this so we don't have that yet so as another as a third price if you want to just defer it again Yeah, I don't know. Browns is new. They might get aggressive. Um, we only have two quotes right now. We have three no vote, no bids. Sometimes that counts. But Browns will uh, provide a number next week. They're just going up on Saturday. So do we want to defer this again? If you want, the th if you want three numbers, then yeah. And th their time frame was before plowing. The Bailey's request was... Yeah. Um, a little bit. I tried to do that. It was not totally clear what their something about Google. Yeah. What What was there before? He asked. Oh. Uh, God, you got a sweater on? No. Or, on the
Yeah, the, the old apron I'm looking at from, um, it looks like there's a small two or three foot apron along the edge of the road. And then sure pack or something for the rest of it. But this was after the Manash water project. And I don't, I don't have any, the only thing I have from before Manash is 2018 aerial. If it would come up. Uh, it's not coming up. Oh, I didn't, yeah, we didn't add that in. Whatever, whatever the transition is, we'll have to try to blend it to existing grade at that 12 foot. Yeah, it's hard to see from the aerial photo what was there. I'm trying to look at it. Looks like a different material here, maybe. Yeah, with a different thing color there, you can see yeah. vaguely. So, yeah, I get, at this point I'd wait till the next meeting and just see what that third quote is. And then if you guys have any comments or questions on the policy to tune that up or reduce it or expand it uh, for future projects, but you could also apply the policy to this request if you wanted to. And then I have a, just a, when I drove down Eden Street, I still see other driveways that fall into the category of why aren't they asking for what the Baileys are asking? Well, <clears throat> they'll put Tomlin. She's steep. They did theirs, the town paid for it. I don't know. She never did. got a bill for it. I don't so know. So who did that? I don't know. That's what started all this. I don't know who did Tomlin. Look at Hilda's door, the next door yard down. She, that one. she must have fixed it herself. No, she didn't. Because this is what started with uh. Beth. Mark went down there, what I was told. And uh. Next thing, added some more. We can go look. Well, well, come in there and well, this is the problem with the consistency across driveways. You know, you have to. <clears> if well, something's going to happen for one, you know it's going to create a problem if it's not done for the I'm other. I'm telling you, that's what started this. Well, we should dig into that a little bit more for the next meeting because yeah. we we're, can't operate I don't, on this. I don't need to dig into it because that's what happened. No, but I haven't heard that from Mark yet. That's what. That's what I mean. I want to hear it from Mark as what happened there, and then look at the policy and make sure that you know for future projects we don't have to get into this stuff. It takes a lot of time to dig well, around they like this. Met with Mark, the way I understand, and I she know. was gone one day, and then she came home, and it was all done. I had been. Beth said that who paid for it, and she said she never got a bill. Yeah, so there's that's all secondhand stuff that we got to dig into and get from the horse's mouth. Right. That's what I'm. That's all I'm suggesting because I don't. If we're gonna make policy, we need to have it from the first person. That's right. So we're gonna put it off until next meeting. Sounds well, like we for two, for two of them. What's that? We still got plenty of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before winter. Yeah. I'd rather yeah. have that third bid like it's supposed to be. But, sure. But Our policy is. Then they look into it why, why Hilda's got done. Yeah, that's good. Yep. Mm-hmm. We got a note down here too for it. So. Yeah, I think okay. just more information. So we'll just move on. And then. Uh, right. Okay, so the repave. Uh, Fine with that. Go ahead. That. He's on. I'm not going to start yet. Are you hearing us okay? I, I hear that, yeah. Can you hear me? It, it's vague, but uh, we, we, we're picking it's up most of it. It's, it's close. Good enough. Good enough. Depends on your hearing. If you, if you need hearing aid like myself, then it's, it's difficult. But uh, Ron seems to be able to pick up it pretty good. <laughs> oh, God, we all need hearing aid. So. so on the repave of the town office apron, we just got our 1111 permit today from the state, which good. it took a couple of weeks, which I was surprised at. Usually they're pretty quick. Uh, I haven't even had a chance to read it yet. 
it was going to allow either the paving contractor or the town highway to get in there and mess with the frost heave section. Yeah. I'm, all, I'm really tempted to have Jason come in some night or after the election and dig around there after the office is closed and try to figure out what that is and put it back. It's it seems, like, the, the, seems like, yeah, it's like a 10 by four section between the culvert and the edge of Route 15. Are they, are they going to do anything with the vault? They're, they're doing a two or three foot apron across the front of it. And that's it? Yep. They won't pave the parking lot. They think it's other people's stuff, like churches. I don't know who maintains that thing. But it may fall in on itself someday because nobody's maintaining it. I don't know. So anyway, the, the 1111 permit would allow us to go after the frost and then maybe get it ready for when the state comes by. Maybe they'll scoot out a 12 footer footer instead of a three footer for us which would fix everything. Mm -hmm. And if that doesn't happen, then Browns is gonna bid like for um, Eden Street. So we'll have another number for that now, one. Now there's, there's a big, um, I'll tell you afterwards. I'll get off camera first. So do you wanna? Say that again, Matt. Are, are you saying yeah. it's different or it's or it's accurate what what was on that proposal Yeah, over that first 20 feet or so. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, we have a we have a plus or minus 3% in our B71 standard. So that's 6% basically, right? Um, you know, before and after the culvert um, invert angle. So yeah, let's, let's, let's fine tune that design thing. We might want to add a typical drawing to the policy just so it's really clear to people. Yeah, that'd be good. So where are we, where are we at with the repave on that? We're gonna to need to get uh, um, one more from Browns. Browns, yeah. and then also you're gonna get uh, um, see if Jason can Jason can get in there and dig it. If up. he can, yeah. If the paving crew comes by and we're not here and the state paves 12 feet with that frosty, that would kind of stink. Right. If they do the three footer, that doesn't hurt the frosty. But if they, by chance, want to donate 12 feet and then it's not done yet. That's why I was trying to get Jason to do it sooner than later. Mm -hmm. So really starting tonight is the first night that he could potentially and whatever get Whatever he does find, it, then it gives a chance of getting some compaction in there yep. and stuff before they try to pave over it yep. so it prevents it from happening yep. in the future. Yeah. So uh, we on that, get more bids, more bid. Yeah. Okay, and town warrants, and we've signed some of them. Um, the one, sorry, yep. go ahead. Yep. So there's that, and then we had some uh, contractors. Nope. Is that con this was added to the agenda. You you missed this actually. These for, were errors and omissions you know. from. Oh, errors, yeah. So that's what those are for. Okay, and um, we just need to sign off on that. Correct. Need a motion okay. to approve those the, the yeah. warrants. So. Oh, yeah. I'll make a motion to approve the warrants. In a second. Second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Oh. Anybody opposed? Abstaining. Right Ayes have it. I'll set those there. And okay, he's gonna sign those. Mm -hmm. So we got that out of the way. No warrants. And then the minutes for uh, uh, July 26. Uh, did everybody get a chance to look at those? 
Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. I'll make a motion to approve those. Okay. Second. Okay, in a second. Any discussion? All in favor? Signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Abstaining? Ayes have it. Okay. So moving right along again, um, other business. We don't have, uh, let's see, town assessor. We were still. Yeah, quick update on town assessor. Yeah. Eden is, select board is meeting tonight to see if they want to join our oh, great. group of Johnson, Hyde Park and Wolcott. Good. Helmore decided to ask their uh, residents one more time to see if they can get somebody to join their one or two board members. Same position we were in two years ago. So they're trying to do the local search first before. And even if they do find three people, this position could still be supporting them yeah. because it will be a trained person that's uh, possibly helpful to them, but we're not going to bank on them yet. I think they want to take some time to do the search. But we haven't gotten any other responses from any other towns in Lamoille County. So depending on how the next step goes, which is uh, September Regional Planning Commission uh, meetings, mm -hmm. um, we may reach out to Virgens as a as a person to fill up to 40 hours, but if, if needed, yeah. But if the needed. LCPC board has first dibs on that because they were concerned about making sure that Moyle County had first oh, before right. we went outside the county. Well, but it's getting moving along. Yeah, yeah. I think That's it's a great, great idea. I do too. Yeah, it's something we really need. Yeah. And then the funding for the Moyle Valley Rail Trail uh, art, three thousand bucks so far, and. Um, Susan's getting some help from her friends to get to some big donors in the next couple of weeks. Um, and she's being active, even though she's having difficulties right now, being hip recovery and her husband and everything's going um, for her. She, I think she likes the mix. She likes having the distraction of the fundraising. So she's really energetic. We had a fo group phone call today with the fundraising people. Okay. Um, so. You'll see more. She's going to be on the radio on Friday with Roland LaJoy in the morning. Mm -hmm. so I don't know exactly what time, 8.15ish or so, 8.20, something like that. So if you want to tune in to listen to that. The artist, Dan Gottsegan, is going to be on the same radio show on the 23rd of August, oh, nice. explaining kind of his perspective on his images that he's creating. Yep. So that's the report on that. Okay, great. And then the... Uh Sheriff Joint Patrol Town Meeting, that's going to be on the 25th, Thursday the 25th, at 5.30. Can everybody make that? Everybody? I can go. I've got it in my phone. Pizza dinner by the Sheriff, Matt. Matt, does that make a difference? It doesn't matter, I'll be there. Pizza or not? The, the, the only no noise I've heard was that the uh, sheriff is going to ask the towns for a significant amount of money to be split three ways, and the Hyde Park share could be close to a hundred thousand increase. Makes me nervous about what the school district is going to ask in March too, because that's going to there's no no good news coming from our schools. Yep. So. Okay. That's the update. Yeah, then I motion on E and O is the last item I had. And then the executive session, I can give a quick <coughs> E and O, yeah. So we'll go into that, E and O. The E and O changes, uh, the town assessor keeps finding some missed uh, updates from the property transfer tax returns. So there's some numbers that were missed, current land use change that was missed. Uh, two or three subdivision lots that were missed, some name changes that were missed, things that sh they had a changeover in staff, plus they're stressed with the whole, everybody's trying to reappraisal that they're trying to do. So they were really at wit's end themselves. And some of these things got missed. So now they're trying to catch up. I think, and I hope this is the last one, but I won't be surprised if they find other ones. But this is really true up the grand list so people get the right tax bill. Nice. And there'll That's be new important. tax bills issued mm -hmm. for people. Okay. So, so that, I just need a motion to approve the E&Os. Oh, okay. I'll make a motion to approve the E&Os. Second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Abstaining? The ayes have it. Good. Now, we need to determine if we need to go into executive session. I don't think think we do on two of them. That's, yeah, Manoj hasn't anything right now. 
Yeah, Menashe has no new information. The town attorney is still working with them. And as far as I know, Matt Reed, after talking to him yesterday, he's working on a new survey, which will become part of the purchase sale agreement because it will determine acreage. Oh, perfect. So that's pending on that. On mm -hmm. the morsel sand and gravel, um, they're waiting for some input from the town about what the town's position is going to be on their request, uh, which was one, one request to make one change to the DRB permit. So I don't know how you want to deal with that. We can deal with an open or closed. It's not, it's one simple question. We can wait for Susan to participate with that. And that's sort of the same thing with the highway union stuff. Do you want to wait for Susan to come back for that? So both of those would get pushed to the 23rd if you want to, which is yeah, fine. The, the time frame. Or, you can wait on that to push it to the I did. What's, what's going on with it then? With the uh, pit? Or, I mean, with the uh, Menard property or what? Oh, no. Oh, Which one? Morsel, sand, and gravel. Yeah. Morsel, sand, and gravel filed a um, appeal of our DRB permit raising one issue with the permit conditions. So they want to have a hearing. <laughs> they want to have a hearing at environmental court, but on one issue, you'd end up in mediation more than likely. Mm -hmm. So the board has to take a position on whether they want to grant their request, which is to change one condition, or say, you got a lot in your permit, we're not changing anything, we agree with the DRB. And this so that's the decision that has to be made and then relayed back to them. Yeah, that was what Malcolm talked to us about, yeah. right? At the last meeting? Okay. Yeah, so the town attorney went on vacation and he won't be back until the 21st. So he's not able to communicate with them anyway until basically your next meeting. And the last discussion was an executive session, so that's why we're, you could move into executive session and talk about it again, but I, even if I wanted to tell the town attorney what to tell Harrison's attorney, we wouldn't be able to do that till the 23rd anyway, and Susan's not here. So we're just talking about deferring the two other executive sessions to the 23rd, and hopefully have five people here. Right, because mm -hmm. I can't vote on the labor stuff anyway. Right. So you kind of need Susan for that. Yeah, vote, well, right? we deferred it because of her wanting her input. She hasn't had a chance yet. Oh, true. She wasn't here last time. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be nice. So that's a that's I guess that's my proposal is just there's no time frames on these other two ones, except I, I think you told the highway union rep that you try to get back by the end of August. Yeah, we did. Yeah. So you can certainly do that in the 23rd. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we do have some numbers, you know, in the Fifteen to eighteen thousand dollar range for that request of going to sale. Yeah. Okay. So you just have to decide what to do with it. Did you get all that, Matt? We're thinking about deferring to the twenty third. So Susan, hopefully, will be back for a discussion on Mon on the morsel sand and gravel and the labor union. I agree with that. Okay. Okay. So, so I'll just move deferred on those. Yeah. Perfect. So I think I move to adjourn. Second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Have a good evening, and those who can, come on down and count some ballots. Yeah, right. Thanks, Matt.